moving on to the first question evaluate in the first bit sin 18 by cos 72 so let us find the solution for the first bit the given expression is sin 18 degrees by cos 72 degrees let us express both numerator and denominator in the same trigonometric ratio we have sin of 19 minus a is equal to cos a and cos of 90 minus a is equal to sin a by using these two identities let us convert both numerator and denominator into single trigonometric ratio either sin or cos so as we have in the numerator sin sin 18 degrees divided by let us convert the denominator cos 72 degrees in terms of sines that will be sin of 90 degrees minus 72 degrees which is equal to in the numerator sin 18 degrees remains as it is divided by sin of 90 degrees minus 72 degrees is nothing but 18 degrees as here numerator and denominator is common sin 18 degrees by sin 18 degrees will be equal to 1 now moving on to the solution for second bit the given expression is tan 26 degrees by cot 64 degrees to solve this let us convert both numerator and denominator into single trigonometric ratio that may be into tan we have cot of 90 degrees minus a is equal to tan a and tan of 90 degrees minus a is equal to cot a so let us convert the numerator and denominator in terms of tan so numerator is already in terms of tan that is tan 26 degrees by cot 64 can be written as tan of 90 degrees minus 64 degrees which is equal to numerator remains as it is that is tan 26 degrees divided by tan of 90 degrees minus 64 degrees is nothing but 26 degrees as here numerator and denominator are same tan 26 degrees by tan 26 degrees will be equal to 1 now moving on to the solution for third bit the given expression is cos 48 degrees minus sin 42 degrees here one term is in terms of cos and other term is in terms of sin so let us convert this into a similar trigonometric ratio either sin or cos by using the following formulas that is sin of 90 degrees minus a is equal to cos a or cos of 90 degrees minus a is equal to sin a so let us convert this cos into sin that will be sin of 90 degrees minus 48 degrees minus sin 42 degrees this will be equal to sin of 90 degrees minus 48 degrees is nothing but 42 degrees minus sin 42 degrees now sin 42 degrees minus sin 42 degrees is nothing but 0 that is the solution now moving on to the fourth bit solution the given expression is cosecant 31 degrees minus secant 59 degrees now let us express the given expression in terms of either cosecant or secant by using the relations that cosecant 90 degrees minus a is equal to secant a or secant of 90 degrees minus a is equal to cosecant of a so now let us convert this cosecant 31 degrees minus secant 59 degrees into 
secant that is for secant 31 degrees can be written as secant of 90 degrees minus 31 degrees whole minus secant 59 degrees which will be equal to secant of 90 degrees minus 31 degrees is nothing but 59 degrees whole minus secant of 59 degrees now secant 59 degrees minus secant 59 degrees is nothing but 0 moving on to second bit of the second problem solution here he asked us to prove that cos 38 degrees into cos 52 degrees minus sin 38 degrees into sin 52 degrees is equal to 0 in order to prove this let us consider first the left hand side that is cos 38 degrees into cos 52 degrees minus sin 38 degrees into sin 52 degrees now here if we observe the one term is in terms of cos and other term is in terms of sin so let us convert the whole expression in terms of sin so that makes us the expression simplified so this can be made by using the following formula that cos of 90 minus a is equal to sin a and sin of 90 minus a is equal to cos a so now let us convert the given expression whole in terms of sin so that will be sin of 90 degrees minus 38 degrees into sin of 90 degrees minus 52 degrees whole minus sin of 38 degrees into sin of 52 degrees which is equal to sin of 90 degrees minus 38 degrees is nothing but 52 degrees into sin of 90 degrees minus 52 degrees is nothing but sin 38 degrees minus sin 38 degrees into sin 52 degrees can be written as sin 52 degrees into sin 38 degrees as it is a difference of same quantities the difference will be equal to 0 and which is nothing but our right hand side so here as LHS is equal to RHS we can say cos 38 degrees into cos 52 degrees minus sin 38 degrees into sin 52 degrees is equal to 0 now moving on to the third problem if tan 2a is equal to cot of a minus 18 degrees where 2a is an acute angle find the value of a now moving on to the solution he has given that tan 2a is equal to cot of a minus 18 degrees as on both sides of equality the left hand side is in terms of tan and right hand side is in terms of cot so let us express both right hand side term and left hand side term in terms of tan so that simplification could be easy this can be done using the formula tan a is equal to cot of 90 minus a or cot a is equal to tan of 90 minus a so this will becomes tan 2a is equal to cot of a minus 18 degrees so that will be equal to let us express cot in terms of tan that will be 90 degrees minus a minus 18 degrees as we have same trigonometric ratio on both left hand side and right hand side we can equate the angle inside it that is 2a is equal to 90 degrees minus a minus 18 degrees which implies 2a is equal to 90 degrees minus a and minus into minus is plus 18 degrees which implies now let's transpose minus a to left hand side then it becomes 2a plus a is equal to 
90 degrees plus 18 degrees is nothing but 188 degrees which implies 2a plus 3a is nothing but 3a which will be equal to please that implies a is equal to 108 degrees by 3 and here 3 goes in 108 36 times so finally we got the value of a as 36 degrees that is a solution